Welcome back scientists. So today's a really exciting day and I want to talk to you about one of my favorite simple machines, the lever. Last time in my last video I showed you a catapult that fling, flung a flaming ball into the air. That's one of my favorite levers. And today what I want to do is I want to talk to you about levers that we use every day at our house. Levers that you would never know that they were a simple machine. It's just really incredible. When I started really looking into levers, going and reading about levers, asking questions about levers, it was incredible to find out all the different levers that I have in my house. So let's start looking at them. These are a pair of pliers that I use if I need to fix a sink in my house. And here's the fulcrum. Here's one arm and here's the other arm, lever. Here's another, wire cutters if I need to cut some wires. Just like this one, it's got its fulcrum in the middle, it's two arms, lever. Here, some pliers if I ever need to get into some small place and pull something out. These are super helpful. And what this does, if I try to use my fingers, which are also a lever, if I try to use my fingers, it hurts and I can't use very much force. Well, these two arms give me a ton of force and I can hold on to something tight and pull it out. Pliers, lever. This is a really interesting lever, okay? So this is a lever if I'm using it to open a can of paint, for example. You stick it under the edge like that and you open the paint like that. And you go around and you use it. And so that's turning this screwdriver, this flathead screwdriver into a lever. This, anytime that I am grilling. This is one of my favorite levers. I love to grill, I love to cook. And the same thing. If I was trying to hold that, it wouldn't be very good. And this one helps me in two ways. I don't burn my hand and I can grab onto something with more force. Really interesting. And the last lever that I have this morning, something we use all the time, is this. And it obviously helps us cut things. All right, if you were trying to cut something with a knife or in another way, it'd be really hard, but you almost have to use no effort to cut when you're using scissors. Lever. All right, now I'm gonna show you some other levers that you have around your house that you use every day. Good morning, scientists. So today, what I want to show you is a lever, okay? We're going to be looking at levers today. And I've made a letter, lever in my house out of this ladder that I have. I used a boogie board to have my ladder on top of. And down here, for my fulcrum, I've used one of those big five-gallon bottles of water that I have, okay? And here's another one over here that's full of water to make sure it's really heavy. So. What I want to show you today is the different parts of a lever, and I have a couple of really interesting phenomena that happen when I use my lever, and I'm going to show you that today, okay? So, the first thing I want to talk about is the different parts. This here, this is called the fulcrum, and this is the fulcrum of our lever, okay? Here, we have the arm, and the side that has the heavy object on it is called the resistance arm. In the side over here, this side where I'm going to be pushing is the effort arm, all right? And here, this is what we're going to call the load. This is the big heavy object that we're going to be putting on our lever today, our lever today. Now, so let's start. And what I'm going to do is we're going to do a little testing today. We're going to move the fulcrum over here and see what happens. Then we're going to take that fulcrum and we're going to move it over here and we're going to see what happens, okay? 
Okay, are you ready? All right, let's try this out. So first thing, I want to move my fulcrum all the way over to this side. Let me get it all set up and straight. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this big heavy load that I have here, and I'm going to put it on my lever. Now, I am going to now try to pick that big five gallon bottle of water up with the ladder, with the arm, okay? This is the effort side, so let me put some effort in it. Oh my god. Okay, I can get it a little bit off the ground, but it's super heavy. Whoa, okay. Wow, that was super heavy, but I could get it off the ground with a ton of effort. Now, let's move the fulcrum and see what happens, okay? Here. Now we're going to move the fulcrum all the way to the other side, all right? And let's see how this changes things. So now you can already see that the lever has gone this way. That's really interesting. All right, now we're going to put this big, heavy object, the load back on there. All right, here we go. Now let's see. Now I'm going to push this lever down again. This is the effort side. Effort arm, resistance arm. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. It's really easy now. Look at this. With one hand, we don't really have to try it all. Look, I can pick that big, huge, five-gallon jug of water up with no problem at all anymore. That's so interesting. So what that does is that asks me how... Does that fulcrum help us? That makes me want to question things. Wonder why, when I moved the fulcrum over here, it was really hard for me to pick up that five gallon bottle of water. But then, when I moved it closer to the gallon of water, the five gallon bottle of water, it was much easier. Hmm, I want us to think about that today, okay? Okay, scientists, so now it's the fun part of this video. You at home are gonna get to explore your own personal lever. So here I have my fulcrum. I use just a little plastic bottle. Toilet paper rolls work really good for this. I'm gonna have my fulcrum here. Then I have my arm. I found a ruler in my house that's gonna work for my arm that I'm gonna use for my lever. And then Another thing I'm going to use is I have this phone charger and I'm going to use that for my load, for the weight, the thing that my lever is going to help me lift. And all I want you to do now, now that we've learned about levers, we've learned about the parts of a lever, about the fulcrum, we've learned about the unit, the load, we've learned about the arm, I want you to start exploring what happens when we move that fulcrum closer to our load or farther away from our load. So here in the middle, I can see that my lever wants to pick up that load. It's picking up the charger, no problem. If I move it a little farther away, I notice that my lever, oh, it doesn't want to pick it up anymore. It gets a little bit heavier. And then if I move it really close, I barely even know that that load is there. And so what I want you to do is I want you to read more about levers. I want you to explore the concepts of levers, explore this phenomenon of moving that fulcrum closer and farther away. Take some time, be a scientist, ask some questions, and learn more about levers. I also want you to go out in your house and see what kind of levers you can find in your house at home, okay? Well, I hope you really enjoyed learning about levers today. I know it's one of my favorite simple machines. Remember that catapult? Levers are so cool and